Now, children with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, Stefan Grupp was talking about CAR T cell therapy. It's quite a recent therapy, but mm -hmm. now the results are looking quite interesting. Mm -hmm. what, what did you make of the work that he's presented I, here? I mean, when you look at the patients that he was um, uh, treating, these were many of these patients had already relapsed post allogeneic stem cell transplant, which is usually a death sentence for these children. Um, you could see his amazing uh, clinical results with complete responses over 90%. Um, uh, not all were durable, it's true, but amazing dramatic uh, responses with such a therapy um, that is purely directed at the uh, CD19 antigen. How easy do you think it will be to engineer these T cells on a larger scale to harness this CAR T cell technology in, in everyday use for clinics? So it, there are challenges to overcome because at the moment is one product for one patient. It's still, you know, personalised medicine. Um, it does fit the um, bone marrow transplant model in that regard that you have a product specifically for that patient. Um, but the you know, involvement of pharma now is extremely exciting and will really help push the field forward for this therapeutic. There are obviously caveats um, or cautionary tales uh, given that there are toxicities associated with this therapeutic, especially in patients who have a lot of tumour burden. And so I think we have to better understand how to manage those um, side effects, especially uh, when we broaden applicability beyond centres who have experienced in this type of therapy clinically.